Hi, First United Methodist Church of Elon family. Look where I am today. I am here at church. It is Saturday, by the way, in case you're losing track of your days, which means tomorrow is Sunday, the day that we would normally gather here for worship. And just now, uh, Pastor Adam, Beth, and Joel and I gathered for worship. There are just four of us, and Paul filmed it. So we're under the limit of 10, maintain proper social distance. And we'll share a little bit more about that in a minute. But this past week, through video and through emails, we have encouraged all of you to pray for each other, to share prayer concerns with the prayer team, and we want you to keep doing that. We also encourage you to connect with each other, to assemble, even if it's just two of you assembling together on the phone or via email or Facebook. We encourage you to do that. We also want you to continue to abide in God's Word, either by spending some time reading your Bible or a Christian book, or using the online resource that we shared earlier this week called Amplify, that online Christian media platform. Lastly, we also have offered ways for you to help one another, to help your neighbor. We hope you're finding ways to do all of these things from home. And we also want you to remember God's presence with you throughout your life, through the good times and the bad times too. God was never absent, nor is God absent from us now. And if you miss your Sunday school class, the videos for our current Sunday school for the Wesley women's class and the fellowship class, those are on Amplify. And also all of our children's resources that we're doing for children, the Deep Blue Sunday School, that is also on Amplify. And we're also going to offer a new resource for our youth. It's called Submerge. And guess where you can find it? Yep, on Amplify. So though you may not be able to come together here for Sunday school on Sunday morning, we still want people to be able to have their time of study on Sunday morning and to use the resources you're familiar with. Or just find something else on Amplify for Sunday morning study time. So what we're hoping folks will do is that Sunday morning you'll go to Amplify or you'll read your Bible, you'll have your study time, and then you will switch platforms and go to either YouTube or Facebook and we'll share a service of worship together. Because that's the one thing we've not been able to do together these last several weeks is to gather for worship. And I really miss it, I really missed it today. So today what happened is the four of us did get together and just the four of us shared a time of worship, Pastor Adam, Joel, and Beth and I. And so what we did is we worshiped so that we could share that worship with you tomorrow. So we'll post it on Facebook and on YouTube so that we can all worship together at home. And since you don't have to get dressed, you don't have to do your hair, you don't have to go anywhere to do worship together, you'll just grab a cup of coffee, fire up your laptop or your tablet or your phone, and we'll all worship together online. We could even go so far as to schedule an early worship service. Some of us get on at 9 o'clock and worship, and others maybe a later service at 11. And so if you're worshiping online with us, either YouTube or Facebook, on either one of those times or any other time that works for you, we want you to leave a comment so that we can see, and so you all can see, how many of us were still gathered for worship, even if we can't gather in the same physical space. So tomorrow's word, we've kind of been sharing a word for every day this week, tomorrow's word is gonna be worship. But today's word, because today is Saturday, today's word is give. And just a reminder, that Sheila, the financial secretary at church administrator, she is still checking the mail every day here at church, and she is still receiving your tithes and offerings if you're sending them by mail. And thank you to those of you that are doing that, or you that have asked about that, because a few of you have. But you can still mail your tithes and your offerings to the church office, mail them to FUMC Elon, 1630 Westbrook Avenue, 27244. Or if you want to try to give online, you can do that via our church webpage. Just go to elonfumc.org and scroll down a little ways. You'll see an orange button that says online giving. Just click on that button and it'll help you set up what you need to to do online giving. If you're not really sure how it works, you kind of get stuck, just call me and I will gladly walk you through it. But giving our tithes and our offerings, fulfilling our financial commitments to God in these uncertain times, I know that's a scary thing. It is. Way back on Consecration Sunday in October, many of us made financial commitments. 
to God. We committed to give to God what we felt like God was calling us at that time to give. I know I did that. But I also know that the circumstances back in October when we made those commitments are vastly different than the circumstances that many of us find ourselves in today. Job insecurity, financial instability, those are some real things that many of us are dealing with and if we aren't yet, many of us know that we probably will at some time in the immediate future. God knows that too, by the way. It is not news to God. So in these changing times when it feels like very little is certain, I just want to say that I am certain that God still wants us to pray. God still wants us to abide in his word. God still wants us to assemble together, even if that's just two of us assembling on the phone or by email or a text. God still wants us to help each other. God still want, wants us to remember God's presence with us in the past and in the present. And God still wants us to worship, even if it's online. And God still wants us to give, too. Not because God needs the money or because the church needs the money. That's not the point. God wants us to continue to give because giving of our financial resources to God, it is an act born out of a deep sense of trust in God. It manifests that trust and it is a sign and helps us practice our faith in Christ. And if you need to give less because you have less, well then by all means give less. That's okay. We expect that but don't stop giving don't stop abiding don't stop praying or assembling even if it's by phone or text don't stop helping don't stop worshiping even if it is online even though our worship online does look and feel a lot different we're still gonna do it and I look forward to worshiping with you tomorrow I will see you online in the morning, my friends. Will you pray with me? Unchanging God of a changing world, steady us. Root our hearts and minds in you and in your constant and unchanging love for us and for the world you made, even though that world is hurting and struggling a lot right now. Work through our leaders, work through doctors, nurses, and medical personnel, through grocery store cashiers, Stockers, managers, truckers, scientists, and all of those good folks who have a hand in getting us through this crisis. We are grateful for their service and their sacrifice, and Lord, we pray to you for their health and their well-being, and those of their families, too. But we know that we do not ultimately depend on them to get us through this crisis, for we depend on you, God. Sustain us, strengthen us, and move us to continue to practice our Christian faith even though the way we practice that faith may look different and feel different in these days we know that you are no different god no different than you were yesterday no different than you will be tomorrow and lord we take great comfort in your steadfastness so help us to be steadfast in our faith in our trust in our worship and in their giving of ourselves and our resources to you for the building of your kingdom in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I will see you soon, my friends.